robots have been used in industry for years, but now they're revolutionizing the medical world. They're being used from brain surgery to hysterectomies, and now orthopedic doctors predict they will be the gold standard for knee and hip replacement in the next few years. Today, in a special medical moment just before 6, we'll tell you how you can get a new knee and go home the same day with a leg up on recovery time. Morning, Daryl. How are you? Good to see you. Hi, Ms. Good morning. Dr. Clemency, Dr. Cowball. We'd have a saw in our right hand, and we'd be lining up with our left hand, and we'd go at it. It was basically freehand carpentry. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Robert Clemency recalls the days of how knee replacement surgery used to be done. The incision will be a small incision from here to here. But it will be much different today for 57-year-old Daryl Gill of Osceola, who is getting prepped for a partial knee replacement performed by a computer-driven robot. Well, up until... Two weeks ago, I was still working, but the last week that I worked, I really had a lot of pain. Any trepidation so, with this type of surgery? No, because Dr. Furlick's had a lot of good things to say about it. And the best part? I'm going home by 5 o'clock this afternoon with a cane. You heard right. Daryl will be going home today. That's Dustin Aww. and Bruce and Morgan and Connor. And our newest baby is Emery. She's Aww. five months old. Yes. Their numerous grandchildren are all the more reason Daryl's wife Sharon says it's time to get her hubby back on his feet. He's always very active. He's always doing stuff with the kids and just does a lot for me around the house. And he's just not been able to. So, so this is going to be a tremendous advantage. This is South Bend orthopedic doctors Fred Furlick, Bob Clemency, and Michael Kelbell are the first surgeons in Indiana performing this type of surgery and we marked your knee correctly and the advantage of it is that it will only be on the have a small incision here and will only replace one-third of the knee or the all three doctors say studies prove the robotic surgery guided by a CAT scan is four times more precise than traditional surgery the robot will allow us only to go within our preoperative planned uh, that we have that was shown on the computer. So in essence what it does, it makes us a more exacting surgeon. I think it makes for a much more precise uh, knee that's partial, that's conservative, and uh, also allows uh, the patient a quicker recovery. If the CAT scan says 42 degrees, it makes the cut at exactly 42 degrees. So it ca we can't change that, it locks us in. I hate to admit it, but we're not as good as surgeons as the robots. <laughs> Being located in so South Bend, this orthopedic team does a lot team. of work on Notre Dame athletes and says this partial surgery also spares another important function in the knee. We preserve his ACL, so his ACL is still there. And there's a tremendous advantage to that. Good, all right, he's all set. So with a kiss from Sharon, Daryl is off to the OR. For a date with his surgeons and a robot named Rio, and promises he'll be resting in his own bed at home later today. And tomorrow, just before six, we'll take you into the OR and show you just how this robotic surgery works, and we'll tell you whether Daryl actually did get to go home with just a cane less than eight hours after surgery. Having knee replacement surgery used to mean weeks in bed and sometimes months to recover. But now, thanks to the help of a robot, doctors can use pinpoint accuracy to find the problem causing knee pain. And many times, patients now go home the same day walking on a cane. Today, in part two of a special medical moment just before six, we go inside the OR to see just how this robot named Rio and doctors work their magic. Cheers. Having said goodbye to his family, 57-year-old Daryl Gill is being wheeled down to the OR, where his doctor's surgical partner is a robot named Rio. That doesn't mean there's no use for skilled surgeons in a fully equipped operating room. It's just a lot of the leg work is done prior to surgery with a CT scan and a software program, giving doctors a 3D view. The robotics offer patients precision like never before. We're putting in pins so the robot can track the computer program so it's 100% accurate. Led today by South Bend orthopedic surgeon Fred Furlick, his team includes doctors Bob Clemency and Michael Kelbell. They are the only doctors in Indiana performing this outpatient, state-of-the-art surgery. Dr. Kelbell explains how new technology helps them with accuracy. These sensors tell the computer exactly where the knee actually is. 
As Dr. Furlick rotates Daryl's leg, the computer inputs information about the exact dimensions of the knee. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plot a bunch of points here, and this is the lateral femoral condyle. With the calculations complete, it's time to make the incision. This is the only incision Dr. Furlick will need to make. With his eyes on Daryl and the computer, Dr. Furlick uses a probe to map out the arthritic bone he'll be removing. And the blue dots are where we're, we're touching the uh, bone with this device here to actually tell the computer where the actual bone is. And then eventually it will compare what we've placed the points here with the actual CAT scan. And that will tell the robot where it needs to go in to do the cutting. After about 30 minutes of prep that seems part video game. But we're almost ready to go here, Maureen. Good. All right, good. So that puts all the data from the CAT scan into the computer, which puts it to the robot. And the robots won't let me go outside this circle here. You see how it's working? I can't make the wrong move. You can see on this computer image how Dr. Furlick and Rio work together to remove Daryl's arthritic bone. All the green's gone? Perfect. Right. Right where it needs to be. Same thing down the road there. Perfect. Ready to rock and roll here. Time for the trial implants. So this is the bottom. This will go on the bottom of the knee on the inside, and the plastic goes in between, and then this goes on top. And that's how the knee works. Testing Daryl's leg extension along the way, the team likes what they see. A full extension, and you want him in some, uh, some internals, so we're fine there. We're perfect. So it, there it is. With Daryl's arthritic bone removed, the kneecap untouched, and no ligaments damaged, it's time to put the permanent implants in. There's metal on top, metal below, and the white, and the white spacer, or the polyethylene in between. But as you can see, his kneecap is still where it should be. It tracks perfectly, so and he'll go home this afternoon with a cane. Almost as mind-boggling, just minutes after he's stitched up and wrapped, Daryl gives us the thumbs up. And very good. That's right. And six hours later, we found him with Dr. Furlick walking with a cane, admittedly with some pain, but ready to get home. I can walk with a cane. I can walk up and down the steps. Um, so I think it turned out real well. It'll feel good not to have pain in my right knee. And Dr. Furlick says the RoboDoc combination will revolutionize hip and knee surgery within the next five years. It's going to be better for the patient and better for the surgeon because we're going to have better results. So I think that there's no question that this is the future. And just as planned, Daryl went home that afternoon and is said to be healing up just fine. This procedure is generally covered by insurance because it means less recovery time and no general anesthetic. Daryl had just an epidural. The doctors you saw from South Bend Orthopedics are the only ones in Indiana performing this outpatient surgery. And for more information on them, we have a link to their website. Just click on this story.